Healthy plant growth requires ample supply of all essential nutrients. Plants obtain mineral nutrients through their roots in the soil. The minerals are absorbed in soil water and distributed to all the organs of the plant. However, most plants have the special ability to also absorb nutrients through the leaves. This process is called foliar nutrition. Foliar nutrition does not replace fertilizing through the roots, but is an alternative way to feed plants when nutrition needs enhancement, direct to the parts of the plant that need nutrients. When the supply of nutrients through the roots is insufficient because root function is restricted or soil conditions are challenging, root growth is poor or damaged or aggressive soil nematodes present, low soil temperatures impair absorption activity, when soil is not aerated enough, for example, when soil is soaked with water or very dry, when availability of soil nutrients is low, for example, when soil is alkaline and metal mineral nutrients are hard for plants to extract. With very young trees, when their root growth is lagging behind the canopy development, when pests and diseases may damage plants' tissues, in periods of extreme heat and cold, which can stress plants and stunt their growth. In all these cases, foliar nutrition will accelerate recovery and productivity from the stress. Leaves are composed of many layers that all have different roles. As leaves contain a lot of water, they need a layer to protect them from dehydration. This waxy layer that does so is called cuticle. The leaf cuticle is almost watertight, but in the right condition, water and minerals can go through. Within the cuticle, there are tiny pores called stomata that let in CO2 and let out oxygen. When a leaf is sprayed with a suitable fertilizer solution, there will be a slow diffusion of nutrients from the water layer across the cuticle and through the stomata to the internal layers of the leaf tissue. The hydrophobic nature of the cuticle tends to deflect water droplets that fall on it. A sprayed leaf may remain partially dry if droplets are not treated with a special surfactant. Droplets that are too large may just fall off the leaf. Acidity is another crucial factor. The foliar nutrition solution must be slightly acidic for optimal penetration of the leaf. Therefore, the efficiency of the foliar fertilizer application depends a lot on the formulation, including a surfactant and other additives. Timing and weather are critical to success of foliar application. If the fertilizer solution dries up too fast, then the relative salt concentration will be so high that it will dry up the leaf tissue underneath. Hence, it is essential to administer foliar application in the right weather. No rainfall to wash the product off the leaf, and on a day with moderate temperature, high humidity and low wind speed. Combined application of fertilizers and other agrochemicals can save costs and time. However, incompatibility of such mixtures may reduce the efficiency of chemicals or even be harmful to the plants. Each combination should be checked to be sure it will be effective and harmless to the crop. To conclude, foliar feeding is a great way to target the plant with the nutrients it needs. It addresses nutritional constraints throughout the life cycle of the plant and is an important tool in every grower's toolbox.